I'd like to share with you something very intriguing. Now, inside of this envelope, I have a genuine black hole. But don't be afraid, this is a man-made genuine black hole. Now, in addition to this, I have a brass tube that splits apart in the center into two pieces, and you can inspect that if you'd like, but the point of the tube is to contain the power of the black hole. I'll show you what I mean. If we place it there, between the two sections of the tube, you can see it's held firmly in place. As an example, we'll use these three coins. They go inside, but you can observe for yourself nothing has passed through the black hole. That's because at the moment there's too much light in the room. The black hole is absorbing all of the light and nothing else can pass through. What we need is total darkness. So again, the three coins go inside, but nothing's happened at this point. It's when we cover the tube creating total darkness inside, it allows the black hole to open, then shut, and one coin can pass through, leaving us with just two. So again, those go inside, but nothing's happened just yet. We create total darkness, wait a second, and one more coin has passed through. Now that leaves us with just one more coin. I want you to listen. Listen to this coin as the moment it passes through that black hole. It's usually at this point that people want to inspect the black hole. And it is safe because at this point it's outside of the tube. But uh, it's not so much about the black hole, it's about the tube. Uh, the tube contains all of the power of the black hole so that the whole room doesn't get sucked in. But did I mention the tube is battery operated? So keep that in mind. Hello, welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me again. Today, I wanna to take a look at something you might be interested in. It's kind of a classic of coin magic. The tunnel from Jay Wang and Jimmy Finn and TCC Magic. Now, this is a, a beautiful, beautiful prop. Uh, like everything TCC has been putting out, this is an updated version of a classic prop. So what do you get in the box? What is the tunnel? It comes in a nice sturdy cardboard box, like a lot of their props do, and everything you'll need is on the inside cover. You get a nice uh, velvet, black velvet carrying bag, and it's just two pieces that create the tunnel. Now this is nice and heavy, and it, it just feels like a premium prop. It's heavy, heavy duty brass wrapped in a rosewood, and the two sections are held together with magnets. So the plus side of this is it's a self-working piece of magic. Maybe not totally self-working, but it, it will require minimum practice. And you could hand this out for inspection. I wouldn't recommend handing the, the card out and the coins because this is so self-working that someone might put it all together and attempt to do and mimic what you've done and it would actually work and they would discover the secret but the tube itself i would you could hand this out for inspection there's nothing to see they're looking right at the secret but it, it will not occur to people how this is working so on the plus side absolutely premium quality and it's self-working and it can be inspected so again, it's, it has a lot going for it, but at the price point, I may not put it at the beginner level. Maybe if, if that's within your price range and you could handle that, or maybe you're looking for a nice gift to give a, a beginning magic student, this would be great. But this is also a, a really beautiful collector's piece, like some of the other items that TCC is putting out, like the parallel vase or untrammeled. If you want the best version of the, co the coin funnel or the coin tunnel, you'll, you'll see it in different names, or coin squeeze, this is the best version of the trick. Hands down. This is the best version of the trick. Uh, the quality of the props, the way it looks, and the way it handles. Some downsides, maybe not downsides, things you should be aware of. This is so heavy you might want to be careful the way you handle it. Now the magnet is very strong. You can hold it like this 
It's not coming apart. But if you give that any amount of shake, it can slip apart. So uh, adding to that another layer, like a playing card, you, you might run into some issues. Now this is a crushed stock, so it's slightly thinner, but even still, I, I have gotten that to hold. It just takes a gentle touch. But if you, if you go too quickly, this will come apart. So you have to practice that much with it. That's what I mean by it's maybe not completely self-working. You have to get a feel of the prop and the feel of the, the strength of the magnets, but you can definitely pick this up with the card. You can show the inside to the audience uh, at certain moments of the routine, but you don't, you don't want to just quickly pick this up as if it's one piece. These are two separate pieces. So allow the magnet to, to do its work and hold. And you can show this uh, almost freely. Just be gentle. A little tip, as you're going through the routine, the coins go in, one passes through, and you wanna dump these out. This is a, a critical moment where that might separate. So what I found is that you can lift the entire, the, the entire tunnel, place it in the hand like this. Now I've, I've secured either end and I'm pressing it together. At this point, you can dump out the coins and you'll have no worry of, of the tunnel separating as you're trying to pour the coins out. So that's just a little hint for anybody that has the tunnel or if if you're going to get it right now. So bottom line, this is a beautiful, beautiful prop. Uh, feels nice to use. It looks nice to use. It's a great effect. Uh, and as you saw in my performance, you can, you can add things to this. It almost has the feel of like a chop cup routine. You can, you can do other final loads in here and You'll see in the trailer, there's a, a cool little side piece with the magnet. As you drop it in, it, it slows down before finally falling out. But I think this, this routine begs for some kind of kicker finale. So that's what I've attempted to do in my routine. But uh, like I said, this, this is adaptable and you could do the routine straight you know, the coins penetrate the cards. But as I mentioned before, if you want this effect, the coin tunnel, the coin funnel, the coin squeeze, this is the best version out there uh, in terms of the quality and everything else because it's the same effect. They all do the same thing. The coins penetrate a playing card or it could be a business card. It could be a folded dollar bill uh, I've tried a, a gift card, like a PVC type of card. If you're interested in this effect, this is the best version out there, hands down. So right now on their website, this is going for $49.90 until May 10th, and then the price will be $60. And uh, at the moment, I think it is sold out. This was a Kickstarter project that went live a couple weeks ago, and it has already sold out but I think they are currently in, in production, so you can get on a list to be notified when it comes back. But uh, this gets my highest recommendation. It's a fun, interesting trick. I, I love magic effects that include interesting props that aren't puzzles, but they, they kind of create the narrative for you. And this does just that, so I recommend picking it up. So I wanted to show you guys that today uh, I love stuff that's coin related and that can enhance our coin magic. And this does that. So uh, if you're interested, I recommend taking a look. So that's it for today's video. I uh, thank you so much for checking it out. And next video, I've got another item from TCC, their new Mbox 2.0. But this isn't all I've got. I got the whole entire set. So I'm gonna take a look at those next. I'll see you then.